Hi, I'm Marek D'Amato, and welcome back to Let's Play Enclave Light Campaign. We're going right into Ark Moor now, to rescue Jacindra. Not even going to bother with all the different things characters have and can do, because we're just going to play as the knight. With our full set of awesome gear. The Ark Moor Citadel. Ark Moor is a high seat of Mardessa, the sinister leader of the Outland. Princess Jacindra, Selentine's only heir, has been captured for a ritual to summon the great demon king Vatar. We actually, on the Dark Campaign, played through the capturing of her. Jacindra, you must enter the Arkmore Citadel and prevent High Counselor Mordessa from sacrificing Jacindra. Mordessa must be defeated. And here we are in the in a place we've seen many times. We've seen once before, and I think this was the third level of Dark Campaign. See if there's any secrets down this way before we continue. Nope, that's the leaving of mission. Don't want to do that. Whoa, I almost walked right off the edge there. There's some natural jewels floating on the sides there. She's got a redeemer too. And magical crossbow bolts. <sighs> hmm. Now how would one get on there? I think I'll try for. I'm gonna take a, oh, another shot at it, but I think I'll try more uh, enthusiastically once I get a, uh, a. Once I find a checkpoint. You might be wondering why I'm still caring about um, about gold, finding all the gold, since I have the pretty much the best of everything for the night class at the moment. Well, this game does have uh, bo two bonus unlockable characters for each uh, alignment. One is for be completing the game, and the other is for finding every single bit of gold. And I want the one for complete, finding every single bit of gold. skeletons.
I wish I could uh, I could use a sword while I'm playing an assassin on the evil campaign. Oop, there's a mist wraith. First time we've seen any kind of wraith on the light campaign. And there's a dead lich. Well, liches are all kind of dead anyway. It's kind of the point. <laughs> Any chance of going back to get the... No? Okay. I guess I'm going to have to do that off camera. Cool, found a key. Ooh, gold. Mine. Don't mind liches so much. They're a lot easier to fight than uh, sorceresses are. Because they don't all use freaking darkness of despair. Thanks for the potion. There's an assassin somewhere here. I don't know where. Hmm. Oh, there you are. Checkpoint, huzzah! Thanks for the gear.
I'm gonna go back so it also can find before it progress too much. Here we go for time. Hmm. Arkmur. Such a cool, uh, cool name. Kind of little, vaguely Tolkien-esque. Ooh. That's just an arrow I can't use. Wonderful. Can't go up there yet. Progress, I guess. That's what we must do. We must progress. Still alive somehow. Oh, there's Montessa with her sta with her staff. No, oh, she was just an, a glitch. Got it. Whew. The inside of this fortress is very cool. You will never get yeah, I will. Sorry, I'm going to get you. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing here. Okay. This is a green, uh. Oh, no, it's not an infinite staircase, never mind. Oh, it's a. mildly screwed up magic staircase. How am I supposed to do this again? I kind of forget. Ah! Hit the switch and deactivate. Got it. I'm over here. Ooh, we're outside. Cool. <clears throat> I like how the uh, the the stereotypical, the iconic hero weapon is a f blazing longsword. I, th I think it might be biblical, because um, I think the archangel Michael has a fl had a flaming sword. Oh, shut up.
Eat fire sword! And you know what the hell of it is? We cannot save the princess. You can't do this to me! Oh, please stop talking. She's just gonna keep coming. We can't do anything to stop it. Nothing we can do at all. Just gotta let it happen. <laughs> There's no way to stop her. Why you quit? She's just gonna get Temple of Doomed. She's unsavable. <laughs> And you found we found five hundred and uh, and thirty gold pieces. So, um, new mission, Vatar. We've unlocked the final mission of the game, and a new item worth twelve hundred gold. Mardessa, the sword of Mardessa, crafted in the depths of the underworld. Very fast, not very useful aside from that. But um, I'm going to actually quickly uh, stop the recording for a bit. And go and get the gold I missed because I really want to get the uh, the bonus character. So, see you in a bit. And we're back. I got all the gold from the Mardessa level. Jacindra level, sorry. And uh, took the opportunity to get myself a nice cup of coffee. So, let's do the last level of the game. Vatar. Gonna play our knight, of course. Because we need to be able to take a lot of damage in this level. Heart of Darkness. As Mardessa was killed, Vatar was freed from her bond. If the Demon King is not defeated, he will be unstoppable. Vatar, Vatar must be defeated. Sorry about skipping that, let's... Very sorry. <laughs> Got a little too excited there. He is one ugly motherfucker. Let me go. I hate Jacindra. We don't actually attack Vatar directly. Uh, you'll you'll see. Meep. Vatar is big. Vatar is scary. Vatar summons armies of Hellbones. But Vatar is beatable if you know what, what you're doing. Unfortunately, I do. What we gotta do first is grab this crossbow. And shoot this Dragatar symbol a bunch. It would be easy for one of one, one the Hellbones he summons in. Oh, and I saw I saw the audio issue from previous episodes. Turns out my uh, audacity decided. Hmm, this laptop has a built-in microphone. Let's ignore the the two hundred dollar micro Yeti uh, two hundred the two hundred dollar blue Yeti that's plugged in and just use the shitty laptop built-in laptop microphone instead. And I finally corrected this error. Ah. 
Uh, there's gold in this level. At this point of the game, you probably don't need the gold. As you, you're probably geared up as much as you can. Like I am right now, Redeemer, Crossbow, Enchanted Shield, Fire Sword, Heavy Armor, five health potions. But it's for, it's for, um... Completionism, and so you can collect all the gold to unlock the second bonus character. Thanks for the gem. Gonna get all the gold, obviously. Even if it kills me. Which it very well might. This level is very gross, it's all organic looking. Especially that hallway, it's like being in a freaking colon, it's not fun. Avatar ported up right next to us. Before we uh, we get into the get back into the actual fighting, I want to grab the uh, sapphires. Careful because there are pitfalls to the sides of this. No! Ow! <laughs> okay. Gotta kill this freaking lich. There we go. Thank you. Heal and move. I can run. Because the lich will just take pot shots at you forever if you don't kill her. Me alone, Vitar. You're very annoying and very ugly. Seriously, look at that ugly bastard. Now for the gross part. Gotta shoot his gross, disgusting heart. not nearly as intimidating as he looks, but you, is, you need to be careful and know what you're doing. <sighs> I didn't need to heal there, but I did. Whatever. <laughs> Let's 
three gates. Play a three face gate. We are victorious. Mission completed, 700 of 700 gold pieces, 700 new gold pieces added. Congratulations, by defeating the Vatar, you have unlocked the Dark Campaign. It can now be selected in the new game menu. Now you can experience the tale of the Dragatar from another perspective, but beware, it won't be as easy this time. And we'll see the conclusion to that one tomorrow. Congratulations, direct access key. I'm evil, unlocks the Dark Campaign in the campaign selection. Screen anywhere, anytime. Congratulations, you have been awarded a new character, Earth Golem. The battle had begun. Vastly outnumbered, the armies of Selenheim were constantly in retreat towards the castle itself. Oh, it feels good to beat that boss. Vastar's hordes crossed the rift, smashed through the defenses and pursued them. It seemed hopeless, but the death of the ancient demon came as a miracle. Echoing through the mountains and out over the fields, the sound of his final agony reached the ears of enclavers and outlanders alike. The outlanders froze in their tracks, eyes widened in horror. It could not be. Vatar was undefeatable. Only moments later, the first of the Mechalon troops arrived in a cloud of dust and banners over the horizon. Mercilessly, they crashed into the confused Dragatar hordes' rear and flanks. With a new boost of morale, the soldiers of Selenheim cried out their allegiance to their queen and valiantly took up arms once more. Without their leader and surrounded, Vatar's horde was quickly diminished and soon annihilated. History would not be allowed to repeat itself. As the chaos of battle gradually faded into silence, the small party of adventurers returned to Selenheim, soon to be celebrated as heroes. Finally, we get some respect. As Queen Eilendel, Princess Jacindra, and the Assembly of Six were praising them for their valiant efforts, Electo of Mechalon stepped into the chamber unannounced. Boldly, he asserted his authority as the savior of the Enclave. Mm. Angered by such arrogance, the Queen and her council were quick to voice their protests, and soon, they seemed to be on the brink of a new war. High Wizard Zael himself stepped in. Had there not been enough fighting? They had both broken the Pact of Jifuro to help their kinsmen. Wearily, he urged them to come to peace. But Electo refused. Breaking the Pact would no longer be tolerated. He declared that he would conquer the Outlands and try to restore the magic to them. And the people of Selenheim would learn their place as infidels for their past sins. Oh dear. Would the people of Mechalon succeed in conquering the remaining Dregatar and restore magic and peace to the soil? Or would they become like the enemy that had just been defeated? Only time would tell. But that is another story to be told another time. And I don't know if, it, if that game was ever made. So, that was Enclave Light Camp. Okay, I'm back. I'm just, just for a little bit, going to show you the two bonus characters. I'm uh, going to test them out in, uh, if we can do them in a uh, good short level. I'm uh, going to test one out in Saladia. First, going to show you a bit of the Earth Golem.
Ah, hello there. So you are the help I sent for. Excellent. I'm Marcus, the merchant. Listen, the raiders have plundered my and massive throw attack. And he takes very little damage from enemies. So I think you get the point to this guy. Now... Can you make sure it... That's enough golem, I think. <clears throat> then we're gonna do some Hackestrum. The light survival hard. With the 9320 Battle Droid, which is apparently an Enclave Classic. Don't know what Enclave Classic is, but... Let's do this. He doesn't quite fit in the world as well as uh, the Earth Golem. <laughs> Looks pretty cool, though. Got a rocket launcher. It's pretty fucking funny. This is my boomstick. Oh, look at him go. They're also pretty much indestructible. <laughs> Benefits of a rocket launcher. Bye bye. Hee <laughs> hee. Bye. Death to you. You can die. All of you can die to my rocket launcher. So, yeah, that's uh, Battle Droid 932 and. Ninth. That's the Battle Droid and the Earth Golem. Two cool unlockable characters that we unlocked. See you tomorrow when we finish the Dark Campaign, and I'll show you off those two bonus characters too. Ciao! Hi! Thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. And if you, li if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Ciao!